Alright guys, welcome to another video. Today is the 5th of March. It's a Friday and it's currently 10am. So we're heading out for a fish a little bit later than we normally would. But it's just one of those days where I woke up, didn't really have any plans. And uh, on the sort of spur of the moment, I just thought, oh, maybe I'll go for a fish. Uh, it's looking pretty foggy out at the moment. Not exactly ideal conditions. The weather forecast says it's going to be sunny, so I'm expecting all that to burn off in a couple of hours. By maybe 12 o'clock, it should be sunny blue skies, apparently. Uh, where you find low numbers of fish in water like this, you generally find one or two that are actually just big. So. That's my hopes for the day, is to find one or two bigger fish, maybe over five pounders, would be a great, great fish for the day. Stay tuned whilst we go and hunt some monsters out there in the backcountry. Should be awesome fun. Hopefully the weather doesn't close in on me and we have some good fun. I'll catch you guys on the water. a bit away but I'm not faced when I get there there I stay live out the years in my own way own way I know it's true sometimes they get the best of you got me to blame me for the things I didn't do so what's the use of staying the same when the same is the reason you lose you lose alright it is about 11 o'clock and we're on the water So far, I've got on, I don't know, maybe a 12 foot leader, 6 pound line, and a cicada. Nothing else, just a cicada so far. And there is a fish there. I actually didn't spot him until I started recording. So literally right then when I said there's a fish there, hadn't even looked at the water yet, but straight off the bat, straight away I can see a fish. That's over him. Didn't look at it. Doesn't look like this fish is looking up. I might have to catch him on a nymph or try cast a nymph at him. A nymph on. Four pound lion dropper. And a little size 14 beadhead pheasant tail nymph. Just your classic beadhead nymph for this type of thing. Fish is still there. Didn't think he was that deep. That should cover him, well and truly. That's over him. Yep. Oh, he look. He turned to look at that. You would have seen that. His whole body turned. That's over him again. He chased that. Didn't need it though. He definitely looked at that one. All right. Hopefully this one. It's going over him. No, didn't eat that. That fish is gone. Unfortunately, he just disappeared, eh? He caught it onto me. I had a shot at him a couple of times. He looked at it, but sadly, he never, never quite took it. A really nice fish up there. It's so hot. A fish just cruised downstream and then turned around slowly. So he's cruising on a bit of a feeding beat. He's turned back to come down again.
I'm just backing up because he looks like a good fish. Looks like a brownie. It's right by him. Oh, it's a rainbow? Got him. Don't know what this is. I've got like a 50 foot leader. Oh, it's a rainbow. Yeah, he cruised downstream and I just landed it literally directly in his mouth. Like a fly landed right on his face, so surprised he had time to eat it, but somehow he got it. Mate, uh, I was like, mo he kept on coming downstream towards me. So I was moving back the entire time. Some, I don't know how he ate that, eh? It, it literally landed on his head. So he must have just snapped it up instantly. Just got lucky, I guess. So yeah, I'm still on my leader here. I'm not even on fly line yet, and he's down there. So yeah, it was not exactly easy getting a cast out at this guy. Um, but hey, I'll take it. Somehow I did it, and uh, that's all that matters. He just cruised down right in front of me, and I thought, might as well have a go. I was hoping it was a nice brown, but I really didn't, uh, couldn't tell from the way he was moving towards me. He's uh, really not keen, eh? As soon as it gets to me, he starts turning away. Hey, come on. <sighs> Spider on my face. Not cool. He's a pretty big fish, actually. For what? what oh, he just came off. I just pulled him. Bugger. I try to get a bit of view of him, but... There he goes. He's about a four pound rainbow. He wasn't hooked super well in the mouth. There he goes. Because, um... Yeah, it literally just landed in his mouth. <laughs> but, hey. Fish cruising up there. Just after that last one. In the shallows, he's probably a little bow by the looks. He's on his way over, but pretty slowly. Oh, he's looking at the dry fly. He grabbed it and then spat. He's pretty onto it. The thing is, there's big water up here, so you got to be prepared. Oh. Yep, cicada fish. Oof, he smoked it. Nice bow. Similar fish to the one I just missed. Oh yeah, on the cicada. Nice bow. Just put a cast right over the other side there and let it go through. Is this a brown? No way. Nah, it's a bow. Gotta be. It looks like a jack. Nice bow. Is it? What is it? I seriously can't tell today what this species is because the sunlight's hitting them and making them look green. Like brown. Honestly, man, this could be a brown. Did I just... No way. No way did I just get a brown on the cicada off the bat. It looks like a brown, guys. I'm kind of... Oh my gosh, okay, it's a, I got a brown. Now, just if you guys don't recognize this river, a lot of you will, but browns here are like one in 50, okay? <laughs> it's not common to get browns here, and I just hooked one. My first, this could be the first fish I land today on the cicada is a brownie. Come on, guys, it doesn't really get much better than that here. I wasn't even gonna come out today. <laughs>
He's quite a nice fish. He could be a brown by the looks of him. Alright, I'm behind him now. Oh, he's a brown it looks like. No way. Alright, I'm putting a cast over him. I've lost sight of him. Oh, there he is. Bro, how am I casting at another brown? Oh, he's looking over at it. He's looking at the cicada. Ate it. I, s I flossed him. It's a brownie. I flossed him on the nymph. Oh, he's a bit of an old fella too. He's an old brownie. Two browns in a hundred meters. That is not normal for here. Oh, big fish. Oh, yeah, good rainbow, man. Really good rainbow. He came up to the cicada real slow. Oh, yeah, really good cicada. Cicada fish, man. Really good uh, rainbow. He came up to the cicada real slow and looked at it, and I was I saw him coming up. I was like, oh, that's a good one. Oh, mate, he's he's a strong fish too. I'm on four pound line here. Far out. He's a strong one. Just want to avoid this big snag here, really. Oh my goodness. He's he's a big fish, man. He's a strong rainbow. Could be onto our first rainbow of the day. I've lost a couple. Be good to actually land one. Especially off the top. Good fish. Not surprised he's this strong. It's great condition. Really hard fighting rainbows. Oh yeah, nice. That's a really nice fish. It'd be a good. Oh, I'd say it'd be touching five. That's for sure. Such a nice one. Fish of the day. Maybe up there, or is a shape there? I can that's a fish. A couple of shapes up here actually. Oh, hello. That's a bigger one. It's a, it's a bigger one. What is this? Is this a brownie? Oh my gosh, it's a big brownie. This is one of those fish that's like, got a gold belly, silver flank, leopard spots. Oh, mate. I'm a nymph. That little tiny size 14. What a gorgeous brown. Oh, third brown of the day. You guys don't understand really, but it's like there's one brown for every 50 bows in this river normally, you know? I literally will catch that many bows before I catch a brown. And then today, this is the third one I've gotten. And he's probably the most prettiest. I've been catching some absolutely stunning fish this season. These browns I've been getting have just been gorgeous. And this guy looks like a brook trout. Like, he's been tailor painted, you know? He's incredible co colors. Oh yeah, man. It's not a big hook, size 14. 
It's tiny. Oh, he's got a little hook on his mouth even. Oh, yeah, man. Holy cow. Look at the colours on him. Wow. What a fish. Got no sun, but hopefully we'll get a little bit of light so you guys can see this guy because it's one of the best looking fish I've ever caught. Absolute certain. down there oh yep he's feeding might be able to just drop a fly on his head the way he's going if I can just slip down here quietly right where's this fish gone really don't know right there at my feet yep there it is, in the water, he's looking up at it. Yep. How's that? Slip down in the water, drop a fly, literally drop a fly at your feet. And boom. This is the first fish I've ever hooked out of this pool. Such a big pool that, um, yeah, it's tough to ever see any in here. They don't normally cruise around like that on the surface. Far out, he's a strong one. A lot of stuff in there for him to get me around, so I'm trying to muscle him a little bit just to keep him up keep his head up oh mate oh my goodness what a freaking fight hey how the heck am I gonna land him that's the issue because that's about four five six meters deep here's a good one it's gonna oh there's a little ledge oh see there's the other one right next to him see that there's two it's pretty cool might just try hold him here and see what happens See if they play with each other type thing. He's about the same size, this one. So we've got one down here and one here. See, he was the one I was going to go for originally. And then I spotted this guy downstream. Alright, here we go. Maybe I'll be able to do the switcheroo. Let this one go and pick that one up straight away. One and then the other type of thing. So, alright. Calm down, buddy. There you go. Alright, I got one of them. I just put them straight back so I can potentially do the switcheroo here. Right at our feet. Oh, he's looking at it. He's looking. He's looking. I got him! I got the other one! You gotta be kidding me! I got both of them! Oh, what a day, man. Oh, he's going underneath. He's going under the snags. Mate, I thought he was gone. So I started walking up here to leave, and up he, up he pops, he's right there. And I put a few drifts over, and up he comes, and whoop, sucks in the nip. Oh, you gotta be joking, mate. I freaking got both. <laughs> That's classic, man. What a day. Come on, buddy. Not quite. All right, I got him. Oh my gosh. There he is. All right, so I'm just fishing a cicada, no nymph. <clears throat> and there's a good, good rainbow, probably about three pound, feeding up on the top. And uh, 
we're gonna just whack the cicada over him. He's a nice fish. He should come straight up to it. Yep. You guys must have seen that. Oh, he come off. Oh well. Either way, hell of a take. He just porpoised straight over it. Gotta wait till you spot them cruising up on the surface. Oh, there he is. As I said that, there's one cruising up on the surface and my fly is twisted. He's a nice one. Rainbow up on top. Right there, straight in front of me, uh, where that sort of bush thing comes down. All right, we'll put this over him. He's coming over, he's coming up, ate it. And there he is, far out. I mean, maybe it's just me, but it seems like they're fighting so much harder today. Nice rainbow. Maybe they just got a bit of condition for once. They were pretty skinny in winter, but they've got a, a heck of a lot of dough in them. They must be on that high protein diet, cicadas all day. Well, he's just laying there, so. We're just gonna go ahead and grab him if possible. Oh no, not so keen. Oh, he just hopped up again. There he goes. And we're twisted. Oh my gosh. Which way did it go? Alright, we're good. Oh, what the hell was that? He got like tangled and just lay there and then as soon as I went to grab him. Nope. Oh my goodness. So I've I've definitely caught this guy at least twice in my life. He's been here for a few seasons now. It's good to see him, he's still going. It just goes to show that um, catch and release works because I've definitely caught this guy a couple of times. And you can literally go to one of my other videos. If I can remember, I'll put a link in the description in this video to the other time I did a video here and caught this same fish and you can compare but this is definitely him. See how his nose dips down at the end there? Kind of like blunts, goes along and then doop down a bit. Yeah, that's him. And uh, yeah, he choked it down. Let's try and somehow get this fly back. There we go. Oh, nice fish. And he is ready to go, as you can probably tell. See ya, buddy. Check this out, guys. Rainbow in the shallows. Just sitting there. That ain't something you see often. I was wondering why this pool was empty, because normally there's this one rainbow in here. And it uh, looks like he's right there. Dude, are you all good? You need to get back into the, into the current, bro. Get some oxygen. You ain't gonna find any up here. Far out. He's just chilling out there in this in the current now. Pretty weird though. I guess it was just sunbathing, eh? Guys, that's me. Four o'clock. So I fished five hours upstream. Not a huge day, but didn't get much sleep and got in late, so I'll take it. Had uh, a lot of fun on sight fishing and cicadas. A lot of fun catching good fish. Uh, caught three browns in one day here, which is, I've never done that before. I think I might have caught two, but I don't even remember. Generally, if I get one, it's, you know, it's a big, uh, big bonus for the day. Have a look at the other videos I got up. You know, I do all this stuff. And uh, hopefully next time we get a double figure. Still chasing it, but... I wasn't exactly convinced it was going to happen here, so one way or another, you know, we'll get one at some point. Stay tuned for the next video, and I'll catch you guys next time on Kiwi Fisher. Alright guys, so you might recognise this uh, spot from before. This is where I was on the way up when I found my one of my browns that I missed. And uh, on the way back down I had a quick peek, and sure enough he's back, sitting in his little spot. I rigged up a really long leader and a little unweighted uh, fly, Kokibundu. 
a little size 14 and I put on a long leader with four pound fluoro tippet. I'm going to attempt to sneak up on this brownie and try and make it four browns for the day. I don't think it's going to go well. I just don't, but hey, he's sitting there. He's a brown. We're going to have a go. Nice brownie. Oh, he just turned. Oh, he looked at something there. I got him. Oh, no. Freaking hooked him, guys. He ate it off the top like a little dry. Oh, that's devastating. He came out and ate something off the top and he was sitting there pretty perfect little spot for me to cast at him. I put a cast at him and hooked him. And it pulled. The fly pulled, guys. Oh, that is gutting. He was such a nice brown.